before it deals with us. He prefers a Gamalingu Brian Tenner, Yakeyati. A parent will only ever be in one of three places. In front of you to cheer you on, behind you to have your back, or next to you to make sure that you're not walking alone. There's a healthy relationship between your partner and your partner. I'm trying to say this very, and you're going to ask me how to do it. So what do you want to do? On the other hand, we confess that your partner has seven years. You don't have to worry about it. You make sure you're going to ask me how to do it. You decide what is best for their relationship. I'm going to ask you how to do it. My name is Maxine Thomas. I'm from Westbury. I'm 34 years old. I'm a mother of twins. I'm dating Peter Human. I have a secret that I want to tell him. Maxine, you can have a seat. My name is Luanda Potoa, and I just want you to tell us about yourself. Who is Maxine? I love reading, I love watching TV, I love dancing. I used to dance when I was younger. My partner's name is Peter Human. He's 36 years of age. He is a very jolly person. He likes to make jokes. He loves his family. How long have you guys been together? We together eight years on and off. Right, so what can you tell me about these eight years? Before we had it once, we were very happy. Mm -hmm. Like Oh, you've got twins? Yeah. Nice one, okay. We used to have fun together. He used to tell me how he loves me. It was nice. But after that, everything just went mm -hmm. out of love. Mm. So what do you want to confess to Peter? I want to tell him I'm slowly falling out of love. What do you mean by that? We don't communicate anymore. We don't say things to each other like, he won't tell me that you're beautiful, I love you, mm. how was your day? Mm. It's everything about his family and the twins. Have you tried talking to him about this? Yeah, when I have air calling me. Like. I'm a very loud lady. Okay. When I speak to you, I always shout. So I think he won't respond to a mad lady's okay. shouting. So what do you say to him when you, when you're taking alcohol? Then I tell him. Mm. You will never say I'm beautiful. Why must other guys always tell me that I'm beautiful? How does he respond? He what just say, say? Achmen tu. That's all. Achmen tu. And then he's changing the topic and then he's busy with something else. All right, so how long has this been going on? Two years back. What do you think caused the change from his side? I did cheat on him two years back with this guy. What had happened was this guy was a very abusive guy. He once stabbed Peter in his face and then this guy went to jail. Why did this guy stab Peter? Because Peter went to him and asked him, why are you beating up my twins' mother? Mm. And then how did that end up? I asked Peter to withdraw the case against this guy. Okay. Because that time I felt just I was still in love with him. The guy? Yeah. Okay. How did you leave the guy? I never left him. What is it that this guy has? that Peter is not offering you? Communication. Okay. He will always make me feel special, beautiful. Beautiful. Things that make people fall out of love with each other slowly, but surely, are things that we think are small. But of course, Maxine, we need to be responsible. We cannot resolve anything in a relationship by cheating. Which one between the two guys do you want? I want Peter. And then what are you going to do with this guy? I told him last night on the time and we were checking. I want a bold with Peter. Fine. If it's Peter that you want to be with, that's okay. But I want clarity. We do not condone a cheating behavior on Nyan Nyan. Were you using protection with this guy? Yes. Now, what else is the problem in this relationship? His family and friends. Okay. He can always put his family in front of Mm -hmm. His new family. This I feel you. that me and my children is his new family. Yeah. Second reason is he can be like that two hours with us when just one of them phone. That's in your Peter, so he just leave his children just so. Okay. How does that make you feel? <laughs> you makes me feel sad. Doesn't make me feel all right. Mm -hmm. How is your relationship with Peter's family? They don't like me. Why? My reason why I treat Peter. I always shouting at him. So, so are they aware of that? Yeah. Because I'm doing it in front of them. When you're at Peter's place? Mm -hmm. Have you tried, like, reaching out to them? Only the mother. Like, mm -hmm. me and our way, well. You, 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 you tell? Mm, we do talk sometimes. Okay. So I and really then, like her. So who is the problem then? The sisters. Have you tried, since you acknowledge? No. That is because of you that they don't like you. Have you tried reaching out to them? Why? Pride. Pride, as you would know doesn't help. I 
see you cry. <laughs> it's okay to cry. No, don't be shy. Why are you crying right now, Maxine? I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm going through the same cycle every year, the same thing every year. It takes strength for someone to admit their weaknesses and shortcomings. So what is the other thing that is a challenge in this yeah, relationship? Cool. How do you drink? Only Two weekends. Months. Okay. How does he drink? He drinks every weekend with his friends. Mm. Have you spoken to him about this? Yeah, a lot of times. What is he saying? Nothing. Is Maybe it? when he's going to come, he's going to start speaking up. How is he towards you when he's drunk as his girlfriend? When Peter's drunk, he's not responsible. Does it work? Yes. All right. What are you doing, Maxine? Do you work? Mm -mm. Why are you not working? I was in an accident two years back. Okay. So I'm totally blind in my right eye. Really? Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. So I do get a disability for... Oh, okay, my... Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, man. So what happened with your eye? I was in a fight with that person at my eye. Oh, okay, so that's the accident. Yes, okay, it's the accident. Okay. So who else is affected by all these things we've discussed here today? My children. You, how? How are they affected? They don't want to be around me. I shout a lot. Why? I don't know why. You really need to see someone because you're not giving me any other reason that makes you shout. How is the family? How are they involved in your relationship? My family hates me. Why? My mother hates me. Did, did she ever say that she hates you? She said it this morning. Oh, no, man, Maxine, that is mm -hmm. so sad. Why now? I'm really tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of when my girls are getting bigger, they're not getting younger. Mm. And I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. Is there someone that some, you sometimes talk to? Yes, there is someone I talk to. She won't advise me. It's like a person like, Ahmed, leave it person. Let's summarize it, Maxine, so that we are clear why you are calling Peter. When you are calling Peter, your boyfriend, to tell him that you are slowly falling out of love with him as a result of his actions and as a result of things that he's not doing. Number two, the family involvement, him putting the, his family more than you and the girls. And thirdly, you want to talk to Peter about this alcohol thing and especially on weekends. So those are the things that you want to tell Peter. You are going to call Peter. You will get a chance to talk to him. We will help you. He will find us here inside. We can go. Yeah. How are you feeling? Scared I'm gonna lose him. Let's wait for him to come. Let's talk to him. Peter, how are you, my bro? All right, all right. I'm all right. good, I'm good, Peter. Uh, Peter, we welcome you on the show. Nyan Nyan, my name is Luyanda Potwan. Uh, Peter, do you know Maxi? Yeah, I know Maxi. How do you know her? We, we have a relationship. Okay. Peter, what can you tell me about Maxine? Ah, Maxine, sometimes she can be stubborn, sometimes mm -hmm. she can be loving. Mm. And then now and then she tends to to bottle her feelings inside mm. and then it just explodes one and then she expects me to understand why she's crying. Sure. So what can you tell me about your relationship? I know that you guys have been dating for like eight years and you've got twins. Well, okay, the lowest is now and then when she she likes to throw a tantrum and mm -hmm. stuff like that, but then the eyes most obviously is um, when when I'm in need, when I really need her, when I need someone in my corner. Yeah, I'm guaranteed that uh, Maxine will always be there for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Maxine, mm -hmm. please tell Peter why he's here. Peter, the reason why I call you here for is because I'm falling out of love. How does it make you feel? What she just told you it makes me feel a bit bad. Sad because mm -hmm. um, she's, um, she's a mother of my twins and, yeah. and she's always been been there for me. Sure. Maxine, please tell Peter the reasons as to why you are slowly falling out of love with him. The way you were telling me outside. Peter, you never say I'm beautiful. It looks like I'm an animal to you. You don't even touch me, right? So just imagine how much I feel. You don't even, you're not even so romantic with me. I need more from you. Uh, Maxine, you know, I'm, I, would, I was never good at showing my feelings or proving my, my feelings. And that's something I've, I've, I've told you all along to say that whenever you ask me, do I love you, do I love you, I always tell you. I might not show it, but 
You can even ask my friends. You, you're the only one I talk about. I need you, Maxine, to make Peter understand how these things make you feel. It makes me butter. It makes me sad. And it makes you to go and cheat at the end of the day. Ned, it makes me feel bad. Mm -hmm. But then in hindsight, she might also be the one contributing to it. The thing is, now and then, what happens with, mm -hmm. with Maxine? Yeah. Like now, she's she's raising it in a respectful manner. Oh, okay, I see. But somewhere else, she starts shouting. Oh. And once once she starts shouting, the message gets lost in translation. Ma, why didn't you tell me? I've been telling you all along. As a result of that, according to her, I'm not saying it's right, she ended up doing things that, I'm, that I know that you are aware of. Let's talk about that, Maxine. This has to come from you. Should I, the cheating, you were the cause in um, pushing me to that guy also. We never broke up. Every time when me and you ever argue, then I run back to so I don't think there's gonna, there's gonna be any more us, because I don't, I don't want to be someone's second option. I want to be the option. Okay. The cheater always blames a partner of cheating. Mm, I know that. But Peter, listen, yeah. You push me to other guys. I so clean cut as what you what you mean here, Nani. That I know I want my here. That I am my here. I like to run away. But still, I don't want to be with him. I want to be with you. But still, you're doing it just the same thing. You do not even be a walk. You do not even be a walk. I've been to my goal and I'm proud. Okay, take Maxine. Do you now realize that maybe you should have handled things better? Yeah, I'm not sure of handled things better. Well, handled things better. Okay. She already told me that you're a good father. Take care of the kids. At some point, she even feels that you are focused more on the kids than, than her. Not to say that I'm always right when, when, sure. I'm, when I'm with them. Mm -hmm. But then with Maxine, I might be right or wrong. She won't argue mm. until the next week. Okay. When I thought maybe I just mentioned something to say, hey, listen, um, I bought my mother a uh, plasma TV. Mm. Now it's not going to be a problem. Next week, she asked me for fourth train and I tell her I don't have. Mm. There's now when I, when I hear mm. the plasma story coming. Whereas with my, with my kids, I... They adore me, they love me with or without money. You do put your family first, and I told you most of most of the time I told you. How? You can be with us, and then your sister phone, you will jump and go to her. Whatever our conversation is, oh, you must do for my sister also. My thing is this. Mm. I take it that I'm there to, to protect them. But what about her? What about her needs? What about her time? What yeah. about the attention that she expects from you? Yeah, but I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong. If, and if, if Maxine just took the time and sat down with me mm. and explained to me the A, B, and C, the Y, and the Ifs. But she I said, said she told you that many times. That's when we have an argument. Oh. You cannot put a blame every but time on me. You can never, never put a blame every time on me. I just want to recap. Maxine called you here to let you know that she is falling out of love with you and we've discussed the reasons and the issues around that. And the second thing that she called you here for was the issue of the family. Now, there is something else that she called you here for. Uh, Maxine, please look at Peter. Tell Peter why he's here. You're always drinking. You're always with your friends. That's, that's my other issue. You can always be with your friends. Why? Is it more fun with them than with me? Well, it, it, it basically comes down to that statement I said earlier on. I can't now and be with someone where we're sitting and chatting and then the next moment, explosion of emotions, meaning I have to walk on eggshells constantly. And before I put out the statement, I have to ask myself, is she, how is she going to take this? So there's no spontaneity in the, in the conversation. You get my point? Mm -hmm. So that, which is why I always prefer to be with my with my guys, and then it's less trouble. Peter, yes, in Tosa we say in Rova is in It can't be that you're basing everything wrong that you are doing on Maxine's uh, behavior. In other words, you 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 using Maxine's behavior 
as an excuse for your own mistakes as well. At some point, you need to take responsibility. Maxine has come here and never denied anything. Do you understand? She was honest. She admitted everything that she did wrong, even before you came here. I feel like now everything that you are doing and some of the things are wrong, you are now using that behavior as an excuse. Even though I'm trying to come to your house, and then you're still doing the same thing. Are you drinking excessively, Peter? Or you drink normally? No, I'm, I'm not an excessive drink. Okay, what about her? Because I know that she drinks too. She drinks till she, she's past this, that stage where she, where she doesn't even know what's personal and what's public. She, so she is she, an excessive She's not discussing her sex life with my sister's firstborn. Really? Never, never? So, Pira, is she an excessive drinker? No, she doesn't know when to, when to stop. Mm -hmm. Is alcohol also a problem in this relationship. Yeah. How? It makes me unhappy that you are cold, and it's now for how many years? But you drink it if as we well. had a third party here, yeah. they would have them told them also about the same thing about the you But, but it's, it a, it's, a, it's a problem in our life. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Alcohol is not a solution. If anything, it just makes things worse. Right. Uh, Peter, she said to me outside, she, there is someone that she talks to. So tell Pira what this person is saying. The person always says to me, let the people go and relax. You, my mother, all of you. So who else is affected by all of this? The kids, obviously. How? Because there comes a time when the one twin want to come sleep with me and the other twin want to sleep with the mother so we need to split them. Pira, what attracted you to Maxine the first time you saw her? Her uh, vitality. Was life person she she used to be? Yeah, Maxine, what attracted you to Peter the first time you saw him? The way he dresses, he would dress very nice that day. After we start dating from that day, the sure. first day I saw him, yeah. pass his personality. What is it that you would want the hair to change, Peter? You can just change your your attitude towards me. Maxine, what would you like Peter to change if you guys are continuing? Think Stop hard. the drinking. Mm -hmm. Stop it, put people before us, before me and my children. Okay. And please thinking of our future, where we're going to be in 10 years, yeah, in 10 years' time. Peter, what's going to happen now, my brother? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll change my, my my attitude sure. towards Maxine. Mm -hmm. Then start spending more more time with, with Maxine. So does that mean you're staying here? Are you committing that you guys are going to work things out? Is that what it means? Yeah. Sure. Peter is saying he's committed to fixing whatever that he did wrong. Yes. How are you feeling? Much better. Much better. Mm. Peter, you need you, you you need to acknowledge the things that she said. Do you understand? You can't prioritize other people more than your own woman. Do you understand? And you can't replace affection with money. As you said that she's always at your corner when you need someone. You need to start appreciating this woman. We're going to take you to an expert that is going to talk to you further uh, with the hope that everything will go well for you. Mm. Peter, thank you, my brother, for coming to the show to listen to your woman. <laughs> so she's holding you now. She's happy. Uh, <laughs> so see that affection. You need to start here. She's holding you. We wish you all the best. You can go well. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My take on this issue, Gamexin Nopira, it's what we always say. Ubanaba, the foundation of any relationship in Kony, the understanding, patience, Lutan. Without those things, we found them could be more than an engine. Secondly, we are broken, Labour too. We are broken. Some of us because of our past, but it doesn't mean that we've never seen this is a brokenness made good relationships is it. Our partners should not pay the price because of the issues that we need to deal with. That is all I can say. And as the government is going to make sense, it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a big deal. Maxine Thomas is my daughter. Maxine is very aggressive. And um, I never noticed it. Ten years back, her best friend killed herself and Maxine started to be uh, suicidal. She is a good mother to her kids, but sometimes I don't know what happened and what's going on. Then she starts swearing the kids. Peter, uh, I can tell you, he's a very 
is a good person. He respects me. But Maxine, if she wants something from Peter and he can't give it to her, and she starts get, getting aggressive, she starts swearing him just in front of me. When I start talking to Maxine, then she jump on me. And she will always say, you're not a mother for me. So I don't know what did I do wrong to Maxine. Mbugeli, good communication and acknowledging one another in a relationship. importance of a healthy relationship with your family and that of Peter's family. sessions with the professional. I'm looking at a relationship differently because my Mexican actually turned my head into a different direction. I have a different perspective about our relationship now. Take home from this um, is to always give your family time. I uh, just try to look at look and work at your differences, but most importantly, try to find each other first. I learned a lot from this experience. I learned to but love my emotions anymore and stop to get angry for anything. All that I kept inside just came out. I feel relieved. I feel happy. Facebook, Take care of the truth before it takes care of you. Did it under? Nyan, nyan.